What's up everybody, Michael and Coco here. You're watching episode 27 of The Weekly Scan. The Weekly Scan. The Weekly Scan is all about finding opportunities in the stock market for the week ahead. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at the top three stocks I will be trading next week. Now me and Coco have a special announcement. Based on viewer feedback, people would like to see follow-up videos on the specific stocks that I pick. To make this more interesting, I'm gonna create a side portfolio and enter into the specific trades that I mentioned here. I'm gonna be walking you through the entry points, the targets, my stop loss, my mitigation points, how much I'm risking, the capital, and so forth. This way, on the next future videos, I can show you when they're up, if they're down, if I even got filled for an entry point, et cetera, et cetera. Then we'll be able to have a running tally from now to the future of this weekly scan portfolio. Now, I typically give a lot more different stock picks, so what I plan on doing is doing the same analysis and narrowing my focus to the specific stock setups that I like the most. With all that said, let's go ahead and hop into the top three stocks that I'll be trading next week. The first stock that we're going to be looking at here is ticker symbol JWN. And let me first walk you through what I see and my thought process, and then we'll get into the trade plan. So the first thing that I see is an ascending triangle, building up higher lows here up to an area of resistance. If we see a break above this resistance on high volume, it looks like it could potentially move higher. The MACD looks like it's sloping up very nicely. Volume is kind of accumulating right here, which is nice, but I'd like to see a little bit more. So... Let me walk you through the trade plan. My entry point is going to be at $16.01. That means that the price has to come down just a little bit more in order to get my order filled. As far as a stop loss goes, I'm gonna be right below the 50 period moving average and the previous candle. And that would be at $15.38. So this right here is what I'm willing to risk. This little box right here, if it enters in, I get filled. And then if it stops me out, I'm gonna be out of this trade, losing a total of $30. My target area is $17.97. That's approximately right there. So if my order gets filled, awesome. If I get stopped out, I'll lose about $30. I'm willing to risk this amount to potentially earn up to that amount. Now, I plan on doing what's called risk mitigation, and this is how I manage a specific trade. My mitigation point, which I'll make in yellow, is at $16.64. So if my order gets filled and the price action does come up to $16.64, right around this level, that means I'm gonna be getting rid of a third of my position. Now, I'm buying a total of 48 shares. This is the math that works out, so if I were to lose all of that, the 48 shares and get stopped out, I'd be losing $30. So I plan on buying 48 shares total, getting rid of a third of the position right here, if it gets there, and then another third of position right here at around $18. And then I'd have the last 33% of the position work for me. Now, during this process, I'm gonna be moving my stop loss up as time continues. Let's go ahead and move to the next trade. Here is ticker symbol OSTK. What do we got going on here? Well, let me walk you through my thought process and then we'll walk you through the trade plan. First off, it's an overall bullish context. 50 period is above the 200. The price action is moving up, moving up nicely. And now we're seeing this pretty dramatic pullback all the way from 128.50 down to $67, getting hammered pretty bad. However, because it's still in bullish context and this previous candle that formed is known as a hammer candle, we very well might see a bounce potentially and a break above this upper trend line. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the price is gonna ramp up all the way to the all time highs, but it could represent a potential dead cat bounce. So let's go ahead and walk you through my trade plan for this specific setup. First off, my entry point is gonna be at $64.75. That is approximately right here. That means that the price has to come down a little bit more in order for my order to get filled. My target is going to be at $84.97. That right is here. Now the reason why I'm putting my target right here is because it clearly acted as resistance and support previously. So there's probably gonna get some price hang up right around this area. As far as my stop loss, I'm gonna put that at $58.88. That means that if the price continues to move lower, I'm gonna get stopped out right here and then look for other trades. This is what I'm willing to risk from the gray line to the green line to potentially earn up all the way to $85. Now, as I stated previously, 
this is all about risk management. So I got to look at mitigation points. The mitigation point is going to be at $70.62. That is approximately right here before we run into the 50 period moving average. Now I plan on buying a total of five shares, which would mean if I get stopped out on those five shares, I'd be losing around $30. This would cost me a total of $330 to get into this trade. And if I do get up to this yellow line and my order gets filled, I'm going to be getting rid of one third of that position. So I'd be selling two shares, maybe even just one share at this particular point. Then if the stock reaches up to $85, my, my target point, I'm gonna sell another lot of 30% of the shares. Then if it continues to move on, I'm gonna just let, let that remaining share work for me. Now as time moves on, and if we do catch the bounce here, my stop loss is going to be adjusted to the low of the previous day's candle. So for example, if the next candle low is at $70, I'm gonna go ahead and move it to $60.97. My stop loss would move up. That means a penny saved is a penny earned. All right, let's go ahead and look at my last trade plan. Here is ticker symbol SRNE. Now I already have my horizontal lines placed up. Just did that just to make it a little bit easier on myself, but let me walk you through my thought process here and then I'll walk you through my trade plan. First off, the stock has been getting hammered. But what I like to see here is this trend line kind of going down and this hammer candle that previously formed. Now this hammer candle formed somewhat by the 200 period moving average, not quite there, but also it formed on high volume. Now, if you look at the S&P 500 or if you watch my market briefs, a lot of the stocks and a lot of the indexes that I talk about had a nice big hammer candle. Now we're going into this three day weekend, so it very well might just continue to the downside or we might see that bounce. As stated in the video that I made on the market brief, the bulls have the hammer, the hammer candle. So what am I going to do for this specific trade? Well, I wanna enter in at $6.05. So that means the stock price has to come down just a little bit more in order for my order to get filled. And I'd be putting my stop loss at $5.47. That means it gives it just a little bit of room to breathe for potentially a move up higher. Now, if it breaks below that point, then I'm gonna get stopped out. I'm only willing to risk $30 on this specific trade, so I'm gonna to have to buy 52 shares. That's gonna cost me $312 of capital for this setup. As far as a mitigation point goes, that means I'm gonna sell a third of my shares if it reaches $6.63, and then another third of my shares at $8.97 if it reaches there. As time goes, I'm gonna move my stop loss up to the low of the previous day's candle. Overall setup, I like this. I would like to see a break out of that trend line on higher volume to really give me the confidence that this thing is going to move higher. Those are my three top stocks for the week and my specific trade plans. Hope you like this new format. Let me know in the comment section below. Looking forward to the follow-up next week.